Hi, this is Governor John Carney. Thank you for joining us today as we continue to celebrate Public Service Recognition Week with our annual statewide employee recognition ceremony. It's a real honor for me to have the opportunity to celebrate all of Delaware's public servants for your excellent service and outstanding commitment to the citizens of our great state. The work you do makes a difference each and every day in the lives of all Delawareans. Traditionally, we've gathered together to celebrate your outstanding achievements and present these awards. Although we cannot be together in person this year, presenting these recognition awards virtually does not lessen my gratitude and appreciation for the great work that you do. Each of our award recipients have demonstrated their commitment to excellence in serving all Delawareans. And so to all the honorees, I wanna say a special thank you for going above and beyond the call of duty, especially during this year of COVID-19. By your actions, your dedication, and your accomplishments, you truly embody the best of public service. Congratulations to each one of you. It's an honor to join you today to celebrate Public Service Recognition Week. I've had the pleasure of working with many state employees and I'm always impressed by their tremendous accomplishments. Over the years, I have heard so many examples of employees saving the state money, providing exceptional customer service, dedicating their careers to public service, and just going above and beyond expectations. This year, our statewide recognition award ceremony recognizes and honors the accomplishments of nearly 200 of those dedicated employees who will be presented awards for heroism, excellence and commitment in state service, and team excellence. Also, with the support of the state's business community, we are presenting the GEAR P3 Award for Innovation and Efficiency and the Trailblazer Award. I am truly excited for this year's celebration. The individuals and teams we are honoring this week exemplify what it means to be a public servant. They've been nominated because their commitment has driven them to provide excellent service to their community. Whether you're watching today as a recipient, a nominee, a nominator, or an honored guest, I want to say thank you. Thank you for making the state of Delaware a great place to live and work. The Delaware Award for Excellence and Commitment in State Service is an annual statewide award given to five employees or small groups of employees who exemplify the highest standards of excellence and commitment in state service. It is my pleasure to announce both nominees and recipients of this prestigious award. Many of the nominees for this award were chosen as their agency employees of the year and they deserve to be recognized. The 2020 nominees are Fatim Brockington from the Department of Services for Children, Youth, and Their Families. Nawana Clark from the Department of Health and Social Services. Sarah Crane from the Department of Agriculture. Nicole Hutchison from the Department of State. From the Department of Human Resources, Heather Johnson and Danielle Millman. From the Department of State, Amy Judd, Amy Curvin, Joseph Scalise, and Arielle Winston. From the Administrative Office of the Courts, Saruthi Raghunathan. From the Department of Health and Social Services, Dawn Reed. And from the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control, Jennifer Rauschy. And now I'm pleased to share the recipients chosen to receive this year's award. From the Department of Health and Social Services, Charles Harris, nominated by Kanani Munford. This is Kanani Hines Munford, and I'm the Executive Director of the Governor's Commission on Community and Volunteer Service, and I have the pleasure of leading the State Office of Volunteerism. It is my honor to share with you a little bit about Charles Harris. Um, he recently retired, and he served for 11 years um, with the State Office of Volunteerism. Um, most recently, he was the Social Services Administrator, um, serving as the Director of AmeriCorps Delaware. Early in the pandemic, there were no available masks or PPE, um, so Mr. Harris partnered with AmeriCorps Delaware, AmeriCorps alums, to purchase materials to make brackets. Then, under his direction, those brackets were used 
to take a total of, to make a total of 1,000 masks and face shields, which were then distributed to first responders and clients, including 250 that he made with his wife. Um, Charles was recognized as the Division of State Service Center's COVID hero um, for his efforts. And it's just a testament to who Charles is, definitely um, a leader within our organization and someone that um, exemplifies uh, leadership and should definitely receive this uh, nomination. Again, congratulations, Charles Harris. Ann Heller Clark, Department of Health and Social Services, nominated by Michelle Skinner and Kim Ritter. Congratulations, Ann. Because of your exemplary leadership, vision, and team effectiveness in your ability to help DHSS's mission for improving the quality of life for Delaware citizens, you have won this award. By promoting health and well being along with fostering self sufficiency and protecting vulnerable populations, you were able to take the library to a different level. During the onset of the COVID 19 pandemic, your innovative vision transformed the DHSS Library website into a virtual informational hub for many state agencies. The library portal was populated with crucial information to help state employees with the new concept of working remotely from home. The library webpage was populated with COVID-19 information from My Healthy Community, and it provided updates using the COVID-19 data dashboard. The DHS Library is an essential part of the framework for education education, research, and innovation for the DHSS community. Again, congratulations, Anne. Stacy Purnell, Department of Health and Social Services, nominated by Kenneth Clegg and Becky Bush. Customer service isn't often recognized because it is a standard for every worker. However, I want to recognize exceptional customer service provided by Stacy Purnell. Stacy Purnell is a laundry worker at Stokely Center. She has a positive attitude and smiles at everyone daily. This impacts not only the coworkers, but the clients as well. In particular, on her breaks, Ms. Purnell visits clients to try and put a smile on their face. And she does this sometimes on her days off just to lift their day, even through her own personal pain. Ms. Purnell experienced family loss and continues to manage all her work assignments. During this time, she maintains a positive attitude and displays a great work. Her work example positively impacts not only the clients, but her coworkers as well. Her positivity and grace make her a joy to be around. Her commitment and dedication to her job is irreplaceable. Stacy is a coworker of mine and she has been extremely helpful. Um, she guides you, she's always one step ahead of you, very cheerful. Um, she's a happy person, she's just really great to be around. Wayne Smiley, Department of Services for Children, Youth, and Their Families, nominated by Trenny Parker. It's my honor today to recognize Wayne Smiley, who is a Senior Family Service Specialist with the Division of Family Services. Mr. Smiley works in an adolescent treatment unit that serves children and families in Newcastle County. Mr. Smiley has been recognized several times by multiple family court judges, the Department of Justice, and other divisions within the Kids Department. One of the things that Wayne did over the course of the pandemic, even though he had transferred to a different position, was offered to volunteer to go out in the community and respond to investigations involving child abuse and neglect, which was something that really was above and beyond what he needed to do since he had transitioned into a different role. We're very proud of the accomplishments of Wayne and the kids department would just like to take a moment to congratulate him on this honor and thank him for his dedication to the children and families of Delaware. Dawn Stevens, Department of Correction, nominated by Justin K. King. The reason I nominated uh, Officer Dawn Stevens for not only Officer of the Year, but the uh, Governor's Award for Excellence in Service was because of the many notable things that she's done throughout this year with, in terms of her job as a probation officer. And probation officer, she really serves a dual role. You know, it's a public safety and community service, but also you know, a re-entry and, and helping offenders rehabilitate and find their ways back into the community. You know, and one of the big examples um, that really stood out this year was a former probationer who had fallen on hard times after the COVID pandemic. Um, you know, she was a victim of domestic violence throughout the years uh, and she had 
been able to find sobriety and jobs and employment and, and finally reach out and be on her own. And then once the, the, the pandemic hit, she started to lose all those things because of loss of work and, ex, and other factors. Um, SPO Stevens, you know, ended up contacting her and, and speaking with her and was able to work with local contacts and organizations to help provide basic hygiene items, food, and, you know, other essentials. But, you know, that, that wasn't good enough. <laughs> if you know Officer Stevens, you know, she, she then went further and reached out to local charities and contacts that she knew and was able to help secure funding to pay for, uh, you know, fuel to keep the house warm and, and also to help fund money to help pay rent so that so that this vendor was able to stay in their home and through the through the winter, through the holidays and, and until she could return back to work. So, and that's just one of the many things that, you know, and, and examples of the great work that she's done this year and just shows how she goes above and beyond in her job. Please join me in congratulating all nominees and recipients of the Delaware Award for Excellence and Commitment in State Service. In addition to recognizing today's recipients, I'd like to thank all of the 2020 Selection Committee members for taking time out of their schedules to carefully review every nomination and for then making the very hard decisions about who will receive these awards. And I'd like to extend a special thank you to agency recognition coordinators for their dedication and hard work throughout the year to recognize the efforts and accomplishments of state employees. There are too many to list here, but they are the ones who make the celebration possible and they rarely get the recognition that they deserve. To learn more about this year's recipients and the statewide recognition program, visit de.gov slash gov awards. Thank you and happy public service recognition week to all state employees.